11 hours after a person inside a home in Southeast DC started opening fire on police, hitting three of them. That man remains barricaded inside the house right now. At a news conference just a short time ago, the police chief admitted he is still shooting through the home from time to time. We want to go back out to Mark Seagraves on the scene right now with the very latest. Mark? Yeah, that's exactly right. Chief Smith updated reporters saying exactly that, that since the initial shooting, when he fired on police, three were, officers were injured, that randomly he has been firing that weapon at police over the past 10 hours. The chief also told us that they have now confirmed that the person who is barricaded, who opened fire on police, is the same suspect who they were there to arrest on animal cruelty charges. And she confirmed that he fired through the door at officers as they were approaching up the front steps to that door. Take a look at some video we have of that front door, and you can see in this video what appear to be bullet holes in that door uh, on, uh, on uh, Hannah Place, not far from here. Now, you can also see a black uh, a military style vehicle that police have has been parked out in front of that house all day long. Now, the chief told reporters that they have, negotiators have been in touch by a phone with the suspect who is barricaded in the house. Here's what she said about those negotiations. There have been um, um, periods of time throughout the day where he, where he has been shooting, which is why we have ensured that we do not want anyone in that area. We are holding that area down for that specific reason. Uh, we have been in communication with him, as I described earlier today. Um, there were moments where he, were very, he was very agitated, and then there were moments where he was very positive. So one of the things, I know you asked me this earlier, like how, was it you that asked me about how, how long will this be and how, how long will I tolerate this? Well, I will tolerate this as long as we continue to engage with the subject to get him to, to surrender to, to our law enforcement personnel. So Chief Smith and Metropolitan Police officers looking for a peaceful resolution uh, to this incident where three of their officers were shot and wounded. A fourth was also wounded, but not by gunfire. Uh, as it has become dark here now, streets are still closed. Uh, police still have a heavy presence in this area. Neighbors are coming home from work and from school and are unable to get to their homes. Chief Smith uh, said that some of the houses in the very close proximity to where the suspect is barricaded have been evacuated evacuated and those people may not be able to come home tonight. Other accommodations will be found for them if they're not able to return to their home safely tonight. This could go on for hours, if not until tomorrow, uh, given that the suspect has shown no signs that he wants to give up. That's the very latest here in Southeast. Back to you guys. And just to be clear, he has been continuing to shoot on and off. And as far as we know, he is alone in that house. Is that right? Police have not said. We've asked that question. The chief has now had three press conferences since 10 o'clock this morning, and she has not been able to answer that question, whether or not there is anyone else in that house uh, with him. We do believe that there are several dogs in that house. That is why they were called there originally for animal cruelty charges. But as to whether uh, there are any other people in that house uh, on their own free will or being held there, we just absolutely do not know. We've asked the chief that every time we've had an opportunity, and they just say that that is part of the investigation. All right, Mark Seagraves on the scene still with the very latest. The latest will be coming your way live at 11 tonight. All right, Mark, thanks so much.